Hi, welcome back everyone. In today's video clip, we're going to be talking about the elimination process. And when we do the elimination process, we're trying to find the point of intersection. We're trying to figure out where these two equations will cross. Now, with the elimination process, the time that you need to use it the most is when your x variable and your y variable are on both sides of the equal. So if I look at these two equations, I've got 3x minus y equals 10. The x and y are on the same side of the equals. The second equation is 2x plus y equals 0. They're both on the same side of the equals. Now, the elimination process is very simple. All you've got to do is ask yourself a couple of questions. Here's the first question. Are the numbers in front of x exactly the same? And if you answer no to that, then you go to your y value. So 3 and 2 are not the same. So I'm going to go over to my y value. Are the numbers in front of y exactly the same? Now, keep in mind, there's always that little invisible number of 1. So I've got the number in front of y is 1. The number in front of this y is also 1. So yes, they are the same. Now, if I say yes to that question, now I have to ask myself this question. Is one of the y values positive and one of the y values negative? And if I look here, I see this is negative 1y and positive 1y. Now, ask yourself, what does it mean to eliminate something? If I'm going to eliminate, you know, maybe something, anything in this world, I'm going to get rid of it. So, Let's say I'm going to eliminate some weight because I've gained some weight. Well, I want to get rid of that weight. So I'm going to eliminate the extra weight. In this math problem, I'm going to eliminate the y's. I'm going to get rid of them because they're going to cancel out with one another. So if I look here, 1y minus 1y will end up being 0. So here's what I need to do. What's 3x plus 2x? 3x plus 2x is 5x. 1y minus 1y is 0. They cancel out. They've been eliminated. What's 10 plus 0? 10. Now, the y's have eliminated. They've basically canceled out one another. I'm only left with this. 5x equals 10. The number in front of x is 5. So I need to divide both sides by 5. When I divide both sides by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. x is equal to 10 divided by 5 is just 2. Now, I'm not done yet because keep in mind, I'm trying to find the point of intersection. I'm trying to figure out where those two lines will cross. Well, I've got my answer here of x equals 2. Now, I need to ask myself, which equation looks easier to work with? Is it the top equation or is it the bottom equation? What I need to do is substitute this answer in for one of my x values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second equation. And the reason why I'm picking the second equation, the numbers are a little bit smaller. They're a little bit easier to work with. So watch what I do here. I've got 2x plus 1y is equal to 0. And now I'm going to substitute my answer. My answer was 2, x equals 2. So instead of x, and I'm going to write this in a different color so we don't get confused, I'm going to take x out, and I'm going to substitute it with 2, because that's what x equaled. Now, as I keep going through this, plus 1y is equal to 0. I say to myself, what's 2 times 2? Two? 2 times 2 is 4 plus y. I can take away the 1. We all know that the 1 is, is currently in front of this y. Now, I ask myself, 4 plus what equals 0? And there's a variety of ways I can do this. The first thing I can do is subtract 4 from both sides. If you already knew what the answer was, you can just write that down. You can actually skip this step if you already knew what the answer would be. So, 4 take away 4 is 0. y is now all by itself. 0 take away 4 is negative 4. So now I've found my point of intersection. 
y is equal to negative 4. It's where those two lines will cross. They'll cross at this coordinate. And if you ever forgot how to list your coordinates, all you've got to do is think about the alphabet. X comes first, Y comes second. So hopefully that helped you. This is called the elimination process. And what we wanted to do was get rid of a variable. And we had to ask ourselves a variety of questions. Were the numbers in front of X the same? And we said no to that. And then we came over here. Were the numbers in front of Y exactly the same? And yes, they were. And then we said, is one of them positive and one of them negative? And yes, they were. They would have eliminated out. As soon as we found our answer for x, we had to pick an equation to find our answer for y. If there's anything on this video you didn't understand, please pause and rewind and write down notes that make sense to you. Hi, welcome back everybody. In the last video clip, we were talking about the elimination process and how to find the point of intersection. Well, in this video clip, we've got these two equations. The first equation I have is 4x minus y is equal to 8. My second equation is 2x minus y equals 0. Now, in the last video clip, we were talking about the numbers in front of x and if they were the same. So let's go through those same questions as we did in the last clip. Are the numbers in front of x exactly the same? No. Are the numbers in front of y exactly the same? And keep in mind there's that little invisible number of 1. And the answer is yes. Those numbers in front of y are exactly the same. But here's the problem. Is one of them positive and one of them negative? Because keep in mind with the elimination process, we're trying to get rid of something. We're trying to eliminate it. Now, since they're both negative 1, y, there's something that we've got to do to make sure they get eliminated. All I've got to do here is switch the signs. But if I switch the sign here and make this a positive 1, y, I also have to flip the sign out in front of here. So here's what I'm going to do. This positive 2 now becomes negative. This negative 1, y now becomes positive. 0 is neither negative nor positive. It just kind of stays the same. It's kind of like multiplying everything by a negative 1. Anything times 1 is always that number. Well, if I'm multiplying it by a negative 1, it would flip all of these signs. It would reverse all of the signs. Now, I ask myself, are the numbers in front of y the same? Yes. Is one of them positive and one of them negative? And the answer to that is yes. Now, all I have to do is add all of this up. So what's 4x minus 2x? 4x minus 2x is just going to be 2x. What happens to those y's? One positive y, one negative y, they're going to eliminate. They're going to get rid of one another. And then what's 8 plus 0? 8 plus 0 is 8. Now I'm left with this. I've got a number in front of x. The number in front of x is 2. So I'm going to divide this side by 2 and divide that side by 2. And the 2's will end up canceling out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. x is equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4. But keep in mind, guys, when you're finding, uh, when you're doing the elimination process, you're trying to find the point of intersection. You're trying to figure out where those two lines will cross. I've only found one of my coordinates, so here's what I've got to do. Just like in the last video clip, I selected an equation that looks easier to work with. Now I could select this top equation, or I could select this bottom equation. Now, here's the thing. I've already changed some of these signs in this second equation. So it might be a little bit more difficult to work with. This top equation, I haven't touched. I haven't done anything different to this top equation. So in this example, I'm going to select this top equation to work with. What I'm trying to do is solve for y. Now, I already have my answer for x, x equals 4. What I'm going to do now is this. 
instead of x, I'm going to substitute x out and replace it with 4. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to write this 1, because 1 is still that little invisible number that everyone knows about. As I go through this, what's 4 times 4? 4 times 4 is 16, minus y is equal to 8. Now, you might be able to figure out this answer by yourself right away. 16 take away y is equal to 8. 16 take away what equals 8? If you need to do this step, feel free to. Here's what I would do. I would subtract 16 from both sides. When I subtract 16 from both sides, I'm left with this. Negative y is equal to 8 take away 16 is negative 8. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because our y is negative. We have to turn our y positive. And remember what I did up here? I flipped the signs and I had said, well, it's kind of like multiplying by a negative 1. Because when I multiply by a negative 1, all of the signs will flip, all of the signs will be reversed. Well, the same thing here. If I multiply everything by a negative 1, a negative times a negative is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive as well. So if I multiply negative y times negative 1, I would have a positive 1y. Well, whatever I do to the left side of the equals, I need to do to the right side. Negative 1 times a negative 8. Negative 1 times a negative 8 is positive 8. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write my answer of positive 8. Now, if you're not totally sure, substitute it back into the first equation. Substitute your answer back into the second equation. See if you get the same answer. If you get the same answer, then you've found the point of intersection. And in case you forgot how to write your coordinate pairs, always write x first. Just think about the alphabet. What letter comes first, x or y? x comes first, y comes second. So hopefully that helps you with the, finding the point of intersection. Keep in mind, we went through those same questions. Were the numbers in front of x the same, yes or no? Are the numbers in front of y the same, yes or no? And in this situation, we did have the same number in front, but the signs were the same. So we had to multiply everything by a negative 